welcome to the show, everybody. Oh, the major star of stage and screen is coming to the Bay Area this weekend. Well, these things just don't happen. This is such a clever idea to celebrate the music that had an influence. I just want to restate, I did not choose a single note. It's kind of intimidating when the Oakland Symphony says, send me your favorite songs. And I said, I like uh, Nina Simone and uh, Prince. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Judging quietly from the back row. No, you in the back row, you in the room! Okay, we spend the night in your this is not television. The Temptations didn't walk out here. I was at UCLA and I saw a, a musicians to sideline on a TV show, $75 a day. <laughs> so I was like, sign me up. And that show was fame. Hey, I'm gonna live and in the third week, uh, Debbie walks by and she says, honey, honey, shot, can you play that thing? I said, yeah. She says, put a band together and I'll see you tomorrow. Honey, shot, get, get that boy them songs. And she's been giving that boy them songs for a long time. <laughs> Symphony. What's next? Well, you got 100 ways to tell me. Oh, my creative better half, James Ingram. What she does, send her roses just because. If it's violin she loves, let them play. I woke up in the middle of the night with this lyric in my head. The ghosts of Columbine and Sandy Hook are speaking. Innocent souls are still bleeding. San Bernardino will never rest, not until we address the problems of our nation. Okay. When the march became monotonous, it became synonymous with the walk to Auschwitz. I wonder who we follow with, who's the first in line, if he obeyed his conscience. If one of us broke free right now, we'll leave a trade off of Let's all remember that we all have a light and that our light has to shine. And don't keep that light to yourself. Please, spread it to other people. I'm so glad they were singing James' music tonight. 
Sometimes, as we all know, things get so hard and things get so in your face, but it just feels like something that only black people in this country would have done is to take all that pain and all that sorrow and turn it into something that is, again, a motivating force and bringing people together. And that's where we're at in this country. We need to come together and motivate. You must keep the legacy going. You must. This is the most extraordinary experience I've had. It's so special for me. I'm inspired by all of you tonight. I'm inspired. Thank you.